Sycamore, and happy terrific Tuesday. Today is March 14th, 2023, and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Kieran. And hello, I'm Eli, and we're so excited to be here with all of you on our daily video announcements. Now let's please stand, place our hands over our hearts, and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Remember to check your work and school emails throughout the day, and be PBIS responsible young adults. Be safe, be respectful, and be positive problem solvers. Go Flexbell is participating in Owen Danny's March Madness Flexbell Challenge. We hope it bounces your way. Time to mark and check your calendars for school events. Way to show your support in green today to support our friends with cerebral palsy. There are over one million people in the United States living with cerebral palsy. What is cerebral palsy? Cerebral palsy is a group of disorders that affect a person's ability to move and maintain balance and posture. Cerebral palsy is the most common motor disability in childhood. Cerebral means something having to do with the brain, and palsy means weakness or problems with using the muscles. Interesting. According to the National Institute of Neurological Disorders, cerebral palsy can't be cured, but treatment will often improve a child's capabilities. Many children are often able to manage their disabilities. The earlier the treatment begins, the better chance children have of overcoming developmental disabilities. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Now today's Women's History Month star. Jane Goodall was born April 3rd, 1934. Goodall was a pioneer English primatologist, a person who studies primates, which is a group of animals that includes human beings, apes, monkeys, and many others. When Goodall was 18, she completed secondary school and began working. She worked as a secretary and assistant editor in a film study studio and as a waitress, trying to save enough money to make her first trip to Africa. When she was just 23 years old, she finally made her trip to Africa. Jane Goodall's discovery in 1960 that chimpanzees, chimpanzees make and use tools is considered one of the greatest achievements of the 20th century. Her research of chimpanzee in Tanzania revolutionized our understanding of them and really changed the world's view. Thank you, Jane Goodall. Wow, thank you for all that amazing work and making a difference for so many. That's so awesome. Next up, did you know? Did you know the color orange was actually named after oranges? Really? I thought it was the other way around. That's interesting. Next up, National, National Day. Day. Today is National Pie Day. The math kind or, does it, or the dessert? <laughs> math one. Hello, what is your name? Jackson. Kaya. What is pie? It is a number. Oh, pie is a delicious food that you eat at Thanksgiving. Right. Well, pi to me is um, the ratio of a circle circumference. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Pi is the ratio of a circle circumference to its diameter. How do you celebrate pi day? Well, mostly I go over mathematical terms and I do a couple math equations. Keep my mind fresh. It's a go to my grandma's house. Eat some delicious pumpkin pie, apple pie, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. I can spit out some numbers. Alright. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Pie numbers? Oh, okay. 3.14, 1, 5, something, 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 9, uh huh, something, 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 uh, something, something, 8, something, 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 7. Um, I memorized four pi numbers. Uh, 3.14159265335. Maybe other numbers in pi numbers? Oh, really? Since you memorized the pi numbers, go ahead and spit them out. 3.14159265335. Once I know is 3.14159265935. Oh, that was close. You were. I'll take that. I'll take that. Alright, bye. Next up, let's hear birthdays. birthdays. There are no SJH birthdays today. Really? Wow. Now over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sigmore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. We got a couple repeats on here. First of all, Partners Club, you're going to meet tomorrow. That's Wednesday, March 15th, until 4 o'clock in the Media Center. You guys are going to have a really sweet snack and everything. And you're also going to find out the location of your super fun field trip, which is happening in April. 
And you will need to get a permission slip, so if you can't attend the meeting, get a permission slip from Mrs. Serbless in room 103 for Partners Club. Any, jun any seventh grade boy interested in playing soccer at the junior high next year, you're going to have a soccer meeting during Flex tomorrow. That's Wednesday, March 15th in Mr. Tanaka's room. That's room 240. He'll give you a handout with the information, conditioning, tryouts, dates, all that other stuff, and what you need to bring, and he'll answer any questions that you might have. If you missed the meeting, stop by Mr. Tanaka's room to get the handout. You need to stop by before the meeting on Wednesday. Stop by room 240 to get a pass from Mr. Tanaka. You must have a pass for Mr. Tanaka to attend this meeting. All right? That's it for me. You guys have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks, Mr. Harris. Next up, Mr. Stern, our Dean of Students. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern and Mr. DeJoy here to do this week's Papa John Character Awards. And uh, this week I have an award that was writ written for Isaac Creighton, and it says, Isaac got me through sixth grade after a hor horrific fifth grade. He brought out my positive and funny side, and he helped me to enjoy my days as a whole. It's nice. Uh, he's nice to everyone, and I hope to share classes with him next year. That's awesome. That is, that is a, Great a lot of positive things and a lot of unique attributes um, to Isaac. So uh, pre appreciate what you're doing for your peers here at the junior high. Great job, Isaac. And uh, I have today uh, Dennis Chernoff. And this is a great write-up. It says, Dennis is the type of person that you can talk to for hours without running out of things to say. He is the highlight of my day and is someone I look forward to talking to every day. Dennis, that's fantastic. And thank you for being such a good friend and, uh, and kind to, uh, as Mr. Stern said, your peers. Um, this week, um, I am going to... Uh, D. Rod's class, Mr. Rodriguez. And I am Mrs. Rutledge's class this week. All right, perfect. We'll be there on Thursday because we go to classes on Thursday, but you can make a difference any day of the week. All right, have a great day. Thanks, Mr. Stern. And if you have any suggestions for Mr. Stern's informative episodes, please fill out the form in Mr. Stern's mailbox on the News Crew Google Classroom. Now it's time for Joke of the Day. What do you call a pig who does cry? I don't know. What? A fork job. <laughs> <laughs> the extraordinary Sycamore and follow PBS expectations every day. Have a wonderful weekend and go, go Waves! Waves!